Hi everyone and welcome to Architects 3D Printing. My name is Natalia and this is my first video in the channel in which I'm going to present you the first part of a new project that as Matteo anticipated in the camera GR video and you may have seen in the title will be a 3D printed DSLR camera slider. For that I have bought a couple parts that will be necessary for the build in the hardware store. I will try to use only 3D printed parts buying the minimum possible amount of hardware so we will reduce the costs notably. It means that I will try to print in 3D all the threads for the screws and nuts only buying the linear rods and the bearings for the wheels. We will start the build from scratch and for that the software I'm going to use is going to be Rhino. If you don't have Rhino I will let the link in the description to download Rhino 6 both for Windows and Mac OS. Alright, so I'm gonna make a quick sketch of my idea for the design. The camera slider will have two linear rods that will be those 8mm aluminium bars I shown you before. Then those bars will be fastened for two 3D printed pieces in the strands, which will have some legs that will allow to install the device in a planar surface. Then we will have a central piece, a static as well as the ones in the strands that will hold the bars rigid in the midpoint of the length, since one meter is quite a long distance and the aluminium rods could bend. This 3D printed piece will incorporate a mount to install the camera slider in the top of a tripod if we need so. Another 3D printed piece that we need to design will be the carry itself, the piece that will move back and forth through the aluminium linear rods as you can see in the sketch. So guys, this is my initial idea, that as you will see, as a good design will vary and maybe at the end will be totally different. We will see. Now, I'm going to give you an overview of the whole design. Please notice that if you want an in-depth guide of the modeling process, you just have to let me know in the comment section and I will upload it. To start with the real design, the first parts we are going to model are going to be the linear rods. Since they are not calibrated, if you measure them with our digital caliper, we will see that the real diameter is not 8 mm, but 8.1 mm. I will start drawing a circle and strutting it 1 m, or 1000 mm. Once we do that, we are going to copy at 80 mm, what will be a pretty good distance to keep the carry stable. Once we have that, I will make some simple boxes to have a reference of the look I would like it to have and after that I'm going to start designing the final piece in 2D. We are going to design only half of the piece since it is going to be symmetrical, so we will save half of the time designing. In this process we will basically use circles, lines and the command stream, fillet and join. Once we have half of the external perimeter, I'm gonna make some holes to make the final piece lighter and also we will use less material in the printing. For that, I'm going to copy some random triangles with a fillet in each of its vertex through the whole piece. And once we finish with that, we will have something like this. Now, we will select everything and we will use the command join, what will make all the different segments a unique line much optimal for the extrusion. And once everything is joined, we will use the command mirror and we will use as the mirror axis the line which separates the two halves. Right now we have our final design in two dimensions. Now we are going to copy our design to the right 150 and 300 millimeters. And from the second copy, I'm going to delay the circle since it will be the cap of the external supports. Now I'm going to extrude the first piece 30 mm and the second piece minus 10 mm. Once it's done, we will copy 3D parts 150 and 300 mm to the right and we will join them together using the Boolean union command and this will be the result. All the edges look very sharp and believe it or not, we can cut ourselves with a sharp PLA edge. So what I'm going to do now is to fill all of them using the common fillet edge. Once we do that, this will be the final look of the object. Much better now, right? If I keep detailing all the steps like I did with the external piece, we will make a video of 3 hours and that's not what I planned for this video. 
So from now, I'm gonna give you a more general explanation of all the steps I follow to design the rest of the pieces. Remember, you just have to let me know in the comment section if you want an in-depth guide or tutorial with all the steps detailed one by one, and I will upload it as well. Alright, so the next piece we are going to design are the wheels that will move the carry through the linear rails. They will be composed of the bearing that will be in the middle, and kind of a tire that will be 3D printed and in which we will fit the bearings. At this point, we should know the tolerances needed for our 3D printer. In my case, it has a 0.4 tolerance for gaps, so I offset the real measures of the bearings by 0.4 mm. As you can see, we are doing the whole design in the front view, with the project option activated, so it will be a 2D drawing. Once we have the final design in 2D, we will model it in three dimensions using the command revolve. Once we have them, we are going to rotate the wheel so they will make some pressure horizontally as well as vertically. Then we will mirror the wheels with the copy option activated to get four in total. As the wheels of the carry will be applying some horizontal forces to the linear rods, as I said before, are not very rigid because their diameter is 8 mm and the length is 1 meter. It needs a piece in the middle that will apply the same force in opposite direction to keep it structurally stable. Where is where the central piece that I explained to you in the sketch comes. <clears throat> this piece will keep the structural balance to the camera slider. I'm going to design half of the piece because, as before, will be symmetrical, so we will use half of the time to design it. Once we have the design in 2D, we will copy it 150 mm to the left and we will extrude it 70 mm. Now, I'm gonna copy it to the complete slider that we have in the right hand side of the file to see how it looks. As you can see, it is looking quite good. Now, we are going to design the carry, the 3D printed part that will move through the slider carrying our DSLR on it. Again, we will start with the design in 2D and later we will continue with the design in 3D. This time won't be as easy as in the other parts, because now we will make some changes in all the orthogonal planes. To start, we will move the wheels in place. I think 6 wheels, 4 in the top and 2 in the bottom, will be a good composition, since the weight of the camera will be pushing down. Well. So once we have the design in the XZ axis, we will extrude it and now in the YZ axis we are going to draw some triangles that we will perforate in the side of the 3D model. To do that, we will draw in 2D and extrude them, and later use the command Boolean difference to make the holes. Then we will mirror again this half of the design and join both parts together using Boolean union. Once it's complete, we will fillet the edges to make them softer, as we did with the strand pieces. We have the 3D model of the carry more or less finished so far, but now we need to think how we are going to attach the wheels to the carry. As I said in the camera gear video, as well as at the beginning of this one, I would not like to use screws and all that stuff. So I'm going to model my own 3D printed screws that will fit perfectly and will have the exact same sizes that we need. Since it is easy but a quite complex design the first time you do it, I will pass over this part of the design. And if you want a dedicated video about how to make 3D printed screws using Rhino, you just have to let me know in the comment section down below. Once we have all the pieces modeled in 3D, we just have to add a mounting for the diesel art camera in the carry as well as the mount of the tripod in the middle support of the structure. For that I'm gonna design a removable plate in the top that we will hold in a place by these four 3D printed screws and nuts that I designed in a separate file. At the same time, the top of this removable plate will be removable too, so it will be easier to install our camera in place, and later we will be able to change the mount to host a GoPro a phone or any other device. I will increase the speed for this part since it's very repetitive, but basically 
I made a small step in the top surface of the curry, so the plate will be more stable, and did the hose through the whole piece to host the screws and nuts. Finally, I modeled a cylindrical removable top cover and the screw that will be our 3D printed tripod mount for the DSLR. For the tripod mount in the bottom, I used a similar technique, but this time using a female thread. Now we have everything modeled, but even we created a midpoint in between the two extremes of the slider, half a meter is still a big distance and maybe the aluminum rods will bend. Since my DSLR is pretty heavy, so I decided to copy this central piece two more times, dividing the one meter distance in four portions of 25 centimeters that I hope will be stable. Finally, I made some renders of the slider that look great. If you want, I will teach you how to make these awesome renderings. One more time, let me know in the comments section and I will try to make a video explaining it. I hope you guys like this project so far. We have just finished the final design of the slider. I have started printing some parts as you may have seen if you follow me on Instagram but I'm going to try to print all the parts for next week since it's going to take a lot of time of printing and this video is getting quite long already. Next Friday I will upload the second part of the video with the slider assembly and some footage testing it. Right then, I hope to see you soon in the next videos of the channel. Your comments with questions, suggestions or ideas for new projects will be appreciated. Finally, I just want to ask you please Hit the like button if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Instagram to be notified when more content like this is uploaded. See you in the next video! Part. <laughs> <laughs>